G'day guys, how are you going? Uh, just had a job down here in Motor Vale, just off Old Motor Vale Road, the, you know, down near the BP there. It's got crazy pressure, like well over a thousand kPa. Um, but the issue with this house that we've got, that um, a pressure limiting valve was installed, but um, now she's bought the house, the, the guy who's come back to fix up the retic because it wasn't working correctly, has said, well, there's not enough pressure to run the system because this system was designed at a, over, you know, over a thousand kPa. So yeah, worked all fine, but now the pressure limiting valve's installed. Okay, when the, when the plumber's done that back in the day, it's limit out the, the retic. And so now the retic's only half as good. And so it's not getting to the lawn, everything's dying. And so she, she called us up and said, yeah, what can we do about this? Also the retic valve wasn't working, wasn't shutting off correctly. So we fixed up a couple things and I'll show you what we've done now. G'day, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. Okay, just, I'll check it out here. I'll show you what you've done. We've got the uh, water meter just in here okay so I've, I've removed the um the pressure limiting valve that was in here I had to make a bunch of fittings to get that to fit okay so anyway i've got that got that sorted now um now we've moved it over here i'll just get this cover back on so we've moved it over here so the line sort of came up here and so i've put a little retic box in here so this is where the pressure limiting valve sits now okay so that line goes goes from the from the meter straight up into the house here, and goes up into the rest of the house. So now the rest of the house, all the toilets, um, valves, ball valves, uh, you know, stuff for the the um, washing machine, dishwasher, all that's protected now. So that's only copying 500 kPa, which is great. Okay, but now the retic and everything will can still you know chook on. All right, so she's got all the. Um, Retic solenoids just over here, if you can see that. Okay, these are all, all solenoids. And that went down here to a valve that was down near, down near the front. Okay, but the trouble is the valve wasn't working. And also, if you ever put a retic valve in, ask a retic guy that you want a master solenoid to sit straight off the, um, the valve. Okay, because that means when the master solenoid shuts off, that means all the other pipes have no pressure on it. And so they're not copping it all the time. Because if you don't have one, all that PVC pipe if you've got really high pressure like this place does, you've got a thousand kPa sitting on those PVCs, all the solenoids, all the time. So if you've got one master solenoid that screws straight onto the um, dual check valve, then you're all laughing. I'll show you that dual check valve that we installed as well. Just here, I'll just chuck it under here because the guy's coming back to hook it up. Okay, so here's the dual check valve, all right? And so this is a loose nut fitting. So the 25 mil solenoid can screw straight onto here Okay, and then this is a loose nut fitting. So it's easier to screw on, take off into the future. And then all you need to do then is just hook it back on um, to this retic. So now when the, uh, when the retic shuts off, that solenoid shuts off here. And so this is the only part that's gonna have really high, high pressure on it. So yeah, it's a good, a good option. And so now the, the retic should start working again like it used to be before it was, was cut off. So back to normal again, but anyway, if you're gonna design a a retic system, try and reduce, uh, you know, design it for the lower pressure, um, then yeah, you can have that so you, all your solenoids don't cop it. But otherwise, all sorted today and uh, happy to head on to the next one. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.